there's only one way how to become a pull-up god and that is by doing pull-ups <laughs> you don't say the neck it's pretty obvious that you will become a pull-up god when you will do pull-ups <laughs> get the f out here oh. Okay guys, now for real. Firstly, we need to talk about what you need to get to those high reps. We need to train for endurance, because if we stick to 3 reps, 4 reps, we won't get to the 30 reps. Well, maybe if you do those 4 reps with 50 kgs, <laughs> then maybe. Of course, the endurance isn't all you need to hit those uh, high rep ranges. You need still muscles. Without muscles, you can do pull-up. So first method is choosing hard variation. You can do for example 10 shoulder width apart pull-ups. You will do wide pull-ups for 6 reps, 7 reps. I know this is rep range for hypertrophy or something in between strength and hypertrophy, but still if you can do hard variation for 10 reps, you will do the easier variation for more reps because it's easier I, and you know you are not dumb, I hope. <laughs> the second method I did myself and even did a video about it, which no one, no one saw. So the method that helped me increase my reps from I think 17 to 31 reps in 30 days. Many of you already know what the method is and that is doing 100 pull-ups for 30 days straight. So the positives were that I got to 31 reps and the second that I, uh, that I experienced was that I got leaner. At the beginning of this pull-up uh, challenge I was looking somehow and at the end I got more visible abs. That's the perfect example of me. I did pull-ups to get abs. Of course, I did gain a little bit of muscles in my arms, in my back. And now the negatives. After the second day, I got bicep tendonitis in both biceps. When this happened, I thought that I will take two days to rest and get rid of it, but it was challenge, so I continued. The good thing is that it healed after like two days, three days. Be prepared for this, it can happen, it's possible because you are using your biceps a lot. Every day you do 100 pull-ups or 50 pull-ups uh, if you are a beginner. The second negative is that it takes a lot of time from your day. At that time I was employed in full-time job, so I did my eight hours of work and then I had to go work out, do those 100 pull-ups. At the beginning it was really horrible because the first day it took me 1 hour and 15 minutes to complete 100 pull-ups. Somehow, I don't know if the form was correct, it wasn't, I... <laughs> it wasn't correct. The second day was a little bit better because I did the challenge in 51 minutes. So yeah, be prepared if you can't spend at least hour or two every day to do those pull-ups, don't start this challenge. And the last negative that I, uh, that I experienced, it was really hard mentally to keep going, but after like sixth or seventh day, I saw every day improvement that I did it faster and faster. Of course, you can skip it, nobody holds a gun at your head. So these were positives and negatives about this challenge and maybe you are asking how much time it took me to complete 100 pull-ups at the day 30. It was under 20 minutes. It was something like 19 minutes and 54 seconds. So that is pretty crazy guys. You agree? I highly recommend you this method of increasing pull-ups, even though it's uh, really time demanding, but the change you will get is worth the time that you will spend on the workout park every day. Keep in mind that if you stop doing those high reps, doing these endurance sets, you will sooner or later lose the endurance and you will, you will still be uh, stronger than before, but the endurance won't be the same as the endurance you had at the end of this challenge. So keep this in mind, but it's like with everything. If you stop doing frontal for one year, you will have to uh, relearn it. So guys, I wish you the best on your journey of becoming a pull-up god. And if you are interested in watching the original video where I did the challenge, you can click here. 
I will be glad for any kind of feedback, comment, like and if you really like my videos you can subscribe so you don't miss any of my new uploads. See you guys in the next video.